Battle control initialized. Hello there. Got a game on one of my favourite maps, Timian. This time, I'm using allies because I'm trying to practice with them and improve with them. I do struggle. You'll see why in this game. Although it's a fun game, worth showing. opponents using a Soviet faction. They're using Ukraine. Pushed straight back from my closest, cl second oil derrick there. Often happens against this opponent. Get trapped quite easily. I'm using my standard build order for this one. My opponent's got both oil derricks now. Lost my engineer to a snipe. I know that's going to happen. So I need to test my tactic for... I've got a specific tactic for that situation, so I'll get it tested and try to show it in a video if I can, because I haven't got that one on video. It's something I've only started recently doing myself as well. So I've lost my engineer, my opponent's got two to one in oils there. Let's see the economy. They've earned slightly less, so it's okay. Build order, are they? It's the same build order. Equal in harvesters now. I've just caught up. Hopefully with the settings I've tried with my microphone, I shouldn't have the background sound of the fan or anything like that. Hopefully there'll be a slight improvement. I'm just learning and testing new settings, so hopefully this one will be okay. Or at least, <coughs> excuse me, at least an improvement anyway. Our army values look almost equal. My opponent's expanding forward, an aggressive expansion, <clears throat> which is always wise because um, you can always fall back to a closer expansion if I push him away from there, he can always fall back. This is a terrible situation, I'm, I'm at a disadvantage here, attacking into his view range advantage, so I needed to back off straight away as soon as I saw that. Yeah, my opponent's gaining map control. I need to make sure I don't hesitate here. I should have known my opponent here, so... I'm trying to move an MCV up. That! Yes, that, I was going to say, that's not where I want it. My opponent's got a larger army. Here we go. Pillbox destroyed straight away. in my tank, so I'm trying to at least get some kills and crushes with them. That was bad. My army's been wiped. Destroyed. Lost my MCV. Got all supplies for the moment. I uh, nearly destroyed the construction yard there. I didn't actually even notice that then. I wonder if I noticed it in the game. Those pillboxes are leaking. See, he's thought better of that. My money's okay for now. I can keep going in that sense. I'm building... I've got a small force. My army's been wiped. I'm just, you know, trying to recover there. Medic and a couple of rockets is not enough. My my forces have been crippled basically. My opponent's getting getting tech. He's got a radar dome now. 
See, like I say, I would normally have expanded here and be fighting for this now. My opponent's gained all the map control. This is a bad situation. It's not over. You can recover it, but it would take my opponent kind of making a few mistakes, to be fair, for me to win. If he played a solid game, I wouldn't have any chance at all. Got my engineer here, trying to do something with that. Caught his MCV out there. Engineers moving forward to capture. Let's see how well I can do here. I did have the idea to target some of the barrels. There we go. It's always useful if you get the chance to target the barrels because you get extra damage out of them. It's always good. I've captured the oil derrick. Pushing forward. Hopefully. Let's see what goes. Yeah, I didn't want to overcommit. Check the situation, decided, but without a tank, that's a mistake. I had the right idea in the first place. My engineer got sniped there. Yeah, I just thought I've got the upper hand here and pushed it. I was completely wrong and I should have saved those forces. Or at least done something with them. Trying to destroy the V2 with a medium tank. There we go, there's one. Got some activity over here, I've been caught out. Got one of the MCVs running. Have I got another? Oh, wasted those tanks, lost my, my attention. There's one MCV. Destroyed that attack. My opponent's got air unit now. Army values. They're not probably about equal, except he's ahead because he's got the aircraft. So I'm not doing that bad. I just should have built AA guns at this point. But I had no no radar dome now at this point, so I should have got it. Should have got built one by now. I would have been able to make use of this f chance I've given myself. See, my opponent's paused. He's re regrouping, but he's got the tech. That's where I've failed. He's out of money. Yeah, I did have a chance. But it's just that no tech and now money's run out, but... Oh dear, look at that. Enemy engineer right next to me. I was lucky they didn't notice defending myself from one tank there. Yeah, losing my MCV to air units, that's a shame. If I was him, I'd rather capture them. Definitely. Surely he knows, yeah, he's seen that and I've had no choice. But to sell it, sell my refinery, I'd have been better off. I don't know. Keeping the refinery, even losing that, but... He would have just started capturing the refinery if I left it. He's seen this. Wiped out his army with the nice concave formation and the tanks up front. But, you know, under this situation, even though I've won this, it's what's, you know, it's difficult to take advantage of. I've lost all my, um, all my bulk to that army, so now it's, yeah, that's, that's good though. I wonder what I did with it. Using another force. I've got a larger army than them. I didn't know. an MCV move. I've got money, they haven't. I could have taken this game, I've wasted, I could have... Oh dear, what I did wrong was a lack of scouting. 
if I'd have known, had a thorough look at the situation. And the reason I didn't have is because I didn't build tech and I would have had yaks and I would have had a far better chance. My units would have been preserved better because I would have had V2s to hold back my units and fight more efficiently. As it was, I was pressured that much, and as it is, I um, I didn't even build enough flat trucks to defend against this. These air units just annihilated me, basically, and I'm, I've launched these ineffective attacks. I'm expanding okay now, I'm doing my best, although that got wet, wiped out. Yeah, lost an army. My opponent's recovering money. A long eco train. My opponent's got double the army now, so... He's way ahead, now he's got the tech units, his army's far more efficient, and with air superiority to that degree, I have no chance. Although I could have still built flak trucks and ambushed this lot. I was just, being allies, I'm not at my usual level, my usual skill level. I, uh, I don't have all my usual tools, no Gren drops, no flamers to destroy these buildings quickly and suppress his infantry. My tanks are f just inferior, except in mobility, but I'm not using the mobility, so I'm just at total disadvantages here. Fighting in a more ineffective way, because I'm allies, so I need to keep practicing and get used to it. I've got another game to post. But I'll learn from this and remember that even even though they've got this amount of aircraft, I could soon build um, an AA gun here and destroy all these. You know, it's easily done. I could have done it before they've got to this level of threat, because look, they've just wiped that out. And that's what put me off stick, uh, learning and sticking with allies in the past, when I tried to learn to use them, was my opponent could just destroy me with the axe, and I wasn't skilled enough with keeping MCVs at the front line, and building AA guns at the front line, and things like that. I just didn't have those skills, I, I don't know how to use allies as well as I do the Russians and Ukrainians yet. So it's just a question of practice. Like I say, I do believe they are better. The allies are better, so we'll see if I can learn to use them well enough and then see if I'm better with the allies than Soviets. Maybe my playstyle with the allies just doesn't suit the allies. Maybe I'm better off sticking with the Soviet factions. We'll see, but I'm going to give them a proper try this time and uh, give them a good go and learn learn how to use them. I'm picking France because rather than using the German chrono tanks and advanced chronosphere, I'd rather have the phase tanks at high level. And then once I'm skilled enough at basics with the Allies, I'll start to learn to use their tech units, such as Tanya and phase transports, because I'm already decent with the ally with the Allied artillery. Because of my V um, V twos are my favourite unit, so I'm already okay with artillery units. What I need to learn to do is use the more advanced tech units, especially with allies. Look, I've got a spy there, and I've uh, camouflaged my spy as one of my own riflemen because an enemy isn't going to be fussed by one of my riflemen near his refinery. But if he sees one of his own, he'll know it's a spy. And He'll do everything in his power to destroy it. Then you see these aircraft wiped out another MCV. <coughs> I've lost this army. So you're fighting really inefficiently, and you can't do that with allies against Soviets because they'll just steamroller your forces. Their tanks are heavier, they hit harder. You've just got no chance. My artillery is starting to work. The size of his army is too much, it's a steamroller. But I did salvage, I've lost losing my radar dome and what resources I've managed to scrounge. But I've uh, got an eco raid here, they need to get away because they're on attack everything, so I didn't want them to kill that. 
Let me just check quickly how much cash I get out of this. They've got five grand. I've got 900. Now I'm ahead in cash. So that was a nice deal. But his army's too much at this point. With my skill level being what it is, my, his army's too much for me to stop. He's got these aircraft. He can destroy my artillery at his leisure. And I'm still not building AA guns. Now I can't, but I had radar down for a while. And that's what's making it difficult, because with the Soviets, I can counter these tech units at, um, at Yaks or Blackhawks, artillery V2s. I can counter them with flak trucks, even if I haven't got a service depot. As long as I've got a war factory, I can build flak trucks and counter these. So I can lay ambushes for enemy air units when they've wiped out my their target with an airstrike on their way home lay an ambush for them and attack them with a four or five flat trucks while they're at, while they've got no ammo and you can gun loads of them down so always um, lay ambushes i think it's often if they're at a large force like this they'll destroy my flat trucks but if i can lay and wait for them after they've attacked their target then the flat trucks can destroy them at their leisure and take their time so it's better to do that, attack them on their way home, rather than just let you, letting them destroy your anti-air units and their target. Destroy them on their way back to reload. See, this is an attack, an attempt. My artillery is getting caught out. That was a nice bit of damage. A, f a fatal mis uh, misclick, a fatal order. Get those artillery out there. He's destroyed all but one. He's still got something. His air units are going to town. I've got no chance. But my artillery is still doing a bit of work. Go on, defend it. That's it. Fight for as long as you can. Yep, yeah, I've GG'd. I've failed. But I put up as good fight as I could. And I actually didn't realise how much of a chance I had at, half, at the halfway point. Or roughly halfway point. I had no idea how I had a larger army. At the point I sent this force up here. Around here and wasted it. I had no idea that I had. I was in a position that was better than I realised. I was ashamed that. I, I would have liked to have won that. It would have been nice. Would have been very nice to have won that. But my army was once, like I say, once you got that large, for massive force with V2s and that massive air force, I had no chance. So we just, it, my, I was fighting in such an inefficient way because I don't know what I'm doing with allies, not like I do with Soviets. Well, there's a look through the basic information. There's a loss, but I'm trying to practice with allies, so there's a, a decent game to post for the meantime. Thank you very much everyone. Goodbye.